Well, it was caused by F gases, or fluorinated greenhouse gases, like CFCs and HCFCs. So we got rid of them to protect the planet and to protect people from skin cancer and cataracts. Not quite. We replaced those gases with a different kind of F gas, HFCs, which don't deplete the ozone layer, but are super greenhouse gases that warm the atmosphere way more than carbon dioxide does. They don't last as long in the atmosphere, maybe 15 years, compared to the hundreds of years that CO2 lasts in the atmosphere, but they do a lot of warming in that short time. The upside of this is that fast action to get rid of these gases will have a big near-term impact, helping us to curb climate change in the near term and avoid these scary climate tipping points. Yes, but much too slowly. Equipment using HFCs, especially cooling equipment like fridges and air conditioners, are still being installed globally in huge numbers. What's more, as global temperatures rise, demand for this cooling equipment is also on the rise, locking in more and more F-gas emissions in this vicious cycle of heating and cooling. 